In this video, we're going to show you how to adjust the airflow coming out of your air nozzle off of your onboard compressor. The reason why this is important is depending on what type of material that you're running and thickness. So if you're running a very thin material or you're doing an acrylic setup and you're having a lot of issues where your tape is breaking or maybe your material it's burning through every time or you're getting some really bad wrinkles, something that you can do is actually adjust the airflow so that way there's not as much airflow going into the seam of the material as your head carriage is going down the track. This can eliminate your tape breaking, this is going to eliminate your waves, and again typically if you're doing either a like an 18 ounce vinyl or something very basic, some kind of banner, we're just going to set that at 8 psi, but that is adjustable. If you're running something a little thicker and you're noticing your seam is just not there, you're, you're not getting a good weld, it's not consistent. Something that also you can do is increase that air pressure, that flow of hot air going into the seam. Why that's important is if you're not getting enough airflow into the seam while this is moving down the track, again, you're not gonna get a good weld. So this is just something very basic. If you're noticing something you can try down the line if you notice you're not getting a full weld on any type of material. And to make this adjustment, it's very simple. And the only two things that you're gonna need is a 7 16th wrench as well as a 3 16th Allen wrench. And if issues are still occurring, please visit www.weldmaster.com or call into our office at 330 833 6739 for additional support or to schedule a service visit with one of our highly qualified service technicians. And again, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for choosing Miller Weldmaster for all of your welding needs.